What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to share a hack with you that I use to get infinite amounts of inspiration. Alright, so before we head into the video, I just wanted to ask you if you could leave a like, a comment and a subscribe on my video if you haven't already. Only a small percentage of my viewers is actually subscribed to my channel and it's free and you'll get a free tutorial every week. Alright, so for today's video I'm going over a hack that I use to get infinite amounts of inspiration for my designs. So if you're a designer or visual artist like me, you probably encounter that you don't really know what to put on your designs if you do a lot of free work. And I actually found a solution for that. World building. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, world building is a technique that we use to create fictional worlds. So we're not really writing a story, but we're writing a world that the story takes place in. You can think about what the world looks like, what the climate is like, what the flora and fauna would be like, what the people in there do. Uh, you know, everything around that. And a good example of this is the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So you probably already know this, but it's a hidden world within our actual normal world where people live and they're all wizards and they go to this school together and they educate young wizards. And if you're a bad wizard, you're going to get into Azkaban, which is like this huge prison and it's guarded by these Dementor zombies. And, you know, everything that I'm describing now is in this wizarding world and it's not really a story on its own. Yes, a lot of stuff happens at Hogwarts or at Azkaban, but... I'm really talking about designing the world that the story takes place in. It's kind of like writing down the rules of this world, if that makes sense. So you're probably wondering what does this have to do with anything related to graphic design or visual arts. And let me tell you. A couple of years ago, I did a live stream with my chat where we did a world building session. We wrote down different aspects of the world and would sketch them down on paper. Eventually, we came up with the Dreadlabs universe. The year is 2020 and mankind is set for the stars as the Earth isn't really inhabitable anymore. People now live on a planet called Contra, which is in the Andromeda galaxy close to the Milky Way. So the planet Contra isn't exactly a nice place either because mostly it's covered in deserts and toxic gases and people started living in these giant cities called citadels. And people seek solace into going to underground rave parties in the citadels. On these rave parties, a drug is getting used a lot, which is called Cloud Tears. And Cloud Tears is a byproduct of the toxic gas that surrounds the deserts of Contra. So knowing this story world and being able to make things up as I go, I can use this for creative prompts. For example, I recently released a video on designing a rave flyer in Adobe Illustrator. Everything that you saw on that flyer is based off the Dreadlab story world. And you probably also might know that I host the Creatober challenge every year, in which I share a list of words for every day of the month of October. With these words, you gotta create something, whether it be a piece of music or a piece of art or just a design. And I join in on this challenge myself and record my time lapses. But everything that I create during these challenges is made up from the Dreadlab story world. For example, last year there was the word driver, and I ended up making a Japanese drift magazine based on an illegal Andromeda racing community. I even designed a helmet in 3D and everything. So every piece of text on the cover, even though it was Japanese, was all inspired or, you know, related to this illegal racing community that I just made up because of the Dreadlab story world. Another example is Dread Universe, which is a clothing brand that I just released. This clothing brand will drop various collections based on the Dreadlab story world. The first drop features the Cybernetic Sound Unit, or the CSU in short. This robot is built to play at rave parties on the planet Contra, and I even made a 3D model for it and eventually got printed on the back of a hoodie. Now I don't really like doing this, but I would just really really appreciate if you check out the brand. I've worked very hard to get this brand out there for the last year, and due to the Instagram algorithm being kind of weird, uh, there's not a lot of people that actually my post getting seen by. So even if you don't buy anything, I would just really appreciate it if you would check it out. Anyways, as you can see, a lot of these parts can really help you with your creativity. So now that you know the principle of world building, let's see how you can make your own story world. First of all, this really works well if you do it with multiple people. I was lucky enough to do it on a live stream with my chat, but if you don't have that or you can do that, you can just have a couple of friends over. Make sure you have some pens, pencils and some paper so you can write and sketch whatever you come up with. Here are a couple of questions to get you started. In which time or zeitgeist is the world based? What climate does the world have? What animals or plants do live in this world? Are there people living in the world? If so, what are they like? What kind of jobs do these people have if they have any? What is something the people do to enjoy themselves? Who's running this world? Is it like a government or a council of some sorts? How does one get into ruling this world? Is there order in the world and if so how is it maintained? What is a common food or drink in this world? Do the inhabitants have vehicles? What do they look like and how do they work? So I hope these questions help you kickstart your own world building session. And if you're kind of stuck, you can also just use the Dreadlab story world and start writing from there. There's a link down to the full story so far in the description. And with that, I want to wish you the best in creating your own story world. Before we end the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Thanks to them, I'm actually able to make these videos for you guys and keep up the weekly free videos. 
This is because I cannot get by it with just the YouTube ad revenue. As a thank you for becoming a patron, you'll get access to all of the tutorial files that I have on my channel, a 15% discount in my asset web store, as well as an exclusive role in the Dreadlabs Discord community. If you go one tier up, you'll also get access to exclusive videos such as how to make a Y2K Ray Flyer. If you want to become a patron, there's a link down in the description. But if you don't have the money to support me, leaving a like, a comment and subscribe already does a lot. So with all of that being said, this was Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.